Good morning, beautiful. My name's Sharon Kelly and welcome to my channel, Super Aging. Today we're doing a beginner-friendly morning workout. All you're going to need is some light weights and you're ready to start. Let's go. So what I want you to do is just to roll down one vertebrae at a time onto your mat. Okay, just let your hips get heavy, your head, your shoulders, everything get nice and heavy on the mat. Line up your hips, knees and middle toes. Breathe in and as you breathe out, just let everything go. Now we're working upper abs here, but we're also working on um, stability in our back. So what I want you to do is draw the rib cage together and then draw the ribs down towards the hips and you should start to feel a light engagement in your core. That's where you need to stay. Grab your weights. Bring them up above your chest. Draw the shoulders down. Now lengthen your spine. Breathe in and just lower the weights above your head. Now go as far down as you can until you feel any shift in your back. All right, so this is where I am. Breathing out, bring the weights back above your chest. Let's do five. Abdominals are contracted. Good work. Now we're going slow here because I want you to get the technique right and I want you to actually feel your abs tomorrow. That's it. No movement in your back. Let's do two more. Shoulders are down and you should feel the shoulders on the mat as you bring your arms behind your head. All right, and this is our last one. Tighten your abdominals. And coming back up. Okay, come into tabletop. This time we're imprinting our spine. So we want to make sure that the whole back is on the floor and the knees are over the hips. Bring your hands back above your chest. We're breathing in, we lower. Now we're going to feel a lot more work in our abdominals here. Breathe out, contract your abdominals as your hands come back above your chest. Feeling really stable in your back. Four more. Shoulders are nice and wide. Starting to feel the abdominals engage. Squeeze your abdominals to bring your hands above your chest. Let's do two more. And this is our last one. All right, I'm just going to get you to bring your knees into your chest and let your lower back release. The next exercise is we're going into um, the toe taps, but we're also, we'll keep going with our arms as well. We're working the right side. So oh, just quickly before I go on, don't bend the knee. Keep your knee at 90 degrees. But when we get tired, we tend to want to do this movement. I want you to move from the hip. All right, let's go. So breathing in, right toe comes towards the floor. Breathe out, contract your abs as you bring the knee above your hip and the weights above your chest. Keep lengthening your spine. All right, we, we, you should be getting a nice strong contraction here. Imprint the spine. Let's go for three. Breathe in, breathe out. Two more, back is heavy. And last one, excellent work. Let's go straight into the left leg, left side. Breathe in, breathing out. So if you feel your back lifting off the mat, I don't want you to lower your arms and legs as far. Let's do four more. How's your knees going? Are you keeping them at 90 or are you doing ballet feet? <laughs> it's very easy to do. Two more. Good, strong abdominals. And last one, bring your knees into the chest. Let your lower back relax. So the next set is going to be alternating. Now, if you're getting any tension in your lower back, 
you can actually do it this way. You can start with your hands here, just bring the knee up into the chest and alternate this way, okay? So that's, that's your option there. Still working the belly and still getting the, um, the, still getting the abdominal work. Other than that, we're going back into imprinting our spine, back into tabletop, breathing in, right foot goes towards the floor first, breathe out, bring the knee above the hip, left foot, focus on expanding the back of the rib cage into the floor. There's no movement in your back here, it's all coming from your abdominals. Are you feeling it? No. Let's do three more sets. Nice, strong sets. Come on. And two. Good work. And this is our last set on each side. Excellent work, guys. Bring the knees into the chest. Just let the lower back release. I want you to straighten one leg and then the other leg and bring your arm, arms above your head. Lift your back, lower back off the floor so you just feel the abdominals stretch slightly. And then we're going to come up to a seated position. So the next exercise is we're doing weight work, kneeling. If you don't want to kneel, grab a chair, but follow along. You're going to really enjoy this work. Let's grab our weights. So the focus on this segment is, is strength training. I want you to actually focus on really good form and technique. So shoulders wide, neck long, tummy engaged, no movement forwards or backwards in your torso. We're starting with front raises. First thing I want you to do is to bring the weights back behind your hips, feel the shoulders engage. Breathe in as you breathe out, lift the weights to shoulder height. Staying still in your torso. Good work, keep going. Let's do five. Four, nice controlled work as you move through the um, going, lifting your arms and lowering them. And last one. All right, bring the weights out. Um, <laughs> bring the palms facing your hips, wide shoulders, engage through your core, breathe in to prepare. As we breathe out, we're lifting the arms up, we're reaching the hands away, and we're squeezing the shoulder blades to bring the weights down. So lift up. Lengthen your arms, squeeze the shoulder blades to come down. Keep the neck long. Good. Reach the hands away. Excellent work. Let's do eight. Seven, keeping the chest open. Six, lengthen your arms. Five, good, four, lengthen your arms, come down nice and slowly for the last three, lengthen, squeeze the shoulder blades to come down, bring your arms down, two more, one, excellent, just roll your shoulders back for me, three, two, one, we're going into a bicep curl, so I want you to Show me your hands with your weights and then I want you to bring the arms out so that you're opening up from the shoulders to your palms. Squeeze the biceps, the top of the, at the, top of the arm here. Lengthen your arms. Squeeze the muscle to bring the weights up to your shoulders and remember that nice lengthening stretch you get as you lower the weights. Good work. So it's like, it's like two contractions. You're contracting and then you're extending. Well, it's not two contractions, is it? <laughs> contract, sorry, extend, contract. Extend the arms, contract the muscle. That's it. Let's do three. 
two, one, great work. Roll the shoulders back for three, two, and one. We're going into a pec deck. So we're going to start with our elbows level with our shoulders. And I want you just to do a little squeeze back with your, so squeeze your shoulder blades to bring the elbows back behind you and open up your chest. Now contract the chest as the elbows come together. Open the chest as we bring the elbows back. Staying really still in your torso. It's surprising how much momentum momentum we get from, from moving our torso forwards and back. So the idea is to work really still in the torso so we can feel the muscles work harder. Let's do seven. And as you can see, I'm just making up the number of reps as I go along today, <laughs> along in this segment. Five more. Four. Open up the shoulders and the chest. Good work. Three. You're doing really well. Two. And last one. Great. Coming back and down. So this time we're going into a shoulder press. So what I want you to do is start with your elbows right down towards your hips. And so as soon as I do that, I feel the stretch in my shoulders. I want you to breathe in. As you breathe out, push the weights to the ceiling. Breathe in, bring the elbows right down. Breathing out. So breathing out to lift, breathing in to lower. Tighten your abdominals. Keeping the neck nice and long. Let's do five and four. Three, two, last set. Excellent work. Just roll the shoulders back for three, two, and one. Okay, just a last quick set, and we're going to put it all together. Well, not all of it, but most of it. We're doing a front raise, coming down. We're doing a side raise. We're going into the bicep curl. Press the weights up to the ceiling, come down, rotate um, through your shoulders, back to your front raise, side raise, bicep curl, shoulder press, bring the hands, palms back to you and down. Let's do five more sets. Good work. Four sets, keeping your torso still. Lengthen your arms, bicep curl, shoulder press, elbows draw right down. Three sets. Excellent. Two sets. And this is our last set. Bicep curl, press up, draw the elbows down, bring the weights down and come down. Good work. Let's just give that a quick stretch out before we move on. So drop the shoulders down, reach the hand away. Let's get that on the other side. Excellent. And then we're coming down for some groovy back dancing. Are you ready for that? All you'll need to do is come down onto your mat. And I roll your back down on the mat one vertebrae at a time. <laughs> You're probably going to love this part of the um, workout. I want you to line your hips, your knees and your middle toe, toes in one long line. I want you to press your arms into the floor and I want you to draw the shoulders away from your ears. So we're just going to start with contracting the glutes and doing a hinge lift. Press the feet into the floor, squeeze the glutes and lift up. So as we do this, I just want to get you into the right spot with the, with the back dancing. Is feet press down, glutes squeeze as we lift. Arms are working as well, so we're pressing them into the floor and we're poking our little finger away from us so our shoulders stay away from our ears. And of course, our abdominals are engaged. All right, let's do four. 
And three, standing on your feet. Two, one. Okay, so we, we've got our knees hip distance, so that's where I want you to stay. We're going to lift up. Now, what we're doing is we're going to push the right foot into the mat, squeeze the right glute and lift up. Good. Keep going. Let's do eight, seven. Nice, strong contraction. Arms are still active. Five, four. Try and lift the hip higher. Three, two, one. Let's go back to the centre with our hips, then to the other side. Ten, nine, eight. Come on, squeeze to push the hip up high. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Come back to the centre with your hips. We're going to go side to side for a few here. So foot presses down, right hip comes up. Come back to the middle, left foot presses down, left hip comes up. Keep pressing your arms into the floor, pushing your little fingers down towards the feet. Come on, squeeze the glute to lift the hip. All right, I'm not counting here. We'll do four more sets. And three, two. And this is our last, last rep. All right. Hips are back to the centre, just roll down one vertebrae at a time. This time I want you to separate the feet so the feet are wider than your hips. Breathe in. As we breathe out, let's lift the hips up. All right, right foot presses down, squeeze the right glute. Good work. Eight, seven, come on, squeeze tighter. Five, four, three. Stand on that right foot, two, one. Bring the hips back to centre. Let's go to the other side. Stand on the left foot, squeeze the glute and lift. Nine, eight, seven, six. Good work. Five, lift higher. Four, feel the muscle contract. Two, one. Bring the hips back to centre. Just roll down one vertebrae at a time. I want you to bring your feet in really close together here. Now, there's two things happening here. <laughs> We've got to squeeze our inner thighs as tightly as we can throughout the whole next um, set. Open up the shoulders, press the arms into the floor, press the feet down, lift yourself up. All right, so we tighten the inner thighs. We stand on the right foot to lift the right hip. Eight more and seven, six. Keep squeezing your inner thighs. Four, lift higher, three, two, push the foot down to lift, one, come back to the centre, squeeze your inner thighs, go to the left side, push the left foot down, squeeze the left glute to lift the hip, good work, keep squeezing the inner thighs to lift the hip, as you lift the hip, <laughs> all right, five, four, can we lift higher, three, are we squeezing the glute, two, one, come back to the centre, lift up, squeeze your inner thighs, just squeeze them together for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Just before we finish, we're going to lift the hips up, squeeze inner thighs, lift the hips up, squeeze, up, squeeze. Let's do 7, squeeze and lift, 5, tighter, 4, Three, two, and one. Okay, roll down one vertebrae at a time. Let's start by putting our right ankle onto our left knee. Let the hip stay heavy and lift the left foot. Now, just keep the tailbone on the floor. Wiggle your toes. Keep the shoulders nice and wide. Uh, <laughs> did you enjoy that? Uh, that's it. Now, just without forcing, just bring the knee a little bit closer towards you. Just keep the tailbone nice and heavy. All right. Let's swap the ankle so that left ankle is on the right knee. Let's once again keep our tailbone nice and heavy. Wiggle our toes. It's always fun. Breathe. 
All right, now if you want, keeping the tailbone down, draw the knee towards you. That's it, that's good. Good way to start the day, isn't it? <laughs> Let's sit up. <laughs> Sit up. Let's just do a couple of deep breaths to finish. Oh, I hope you enjoyed the workout and I hope you have a lovely day. Bring your hands forward, breathing in. As you bring the hands back, breathe out and open up the chest and the shoulders. Do two more for me. And this is our last one. Good work. Well done. And um, please remember to like, subscribe. Even better, leave me a message. <laughs> um, have a great day. See you later.